Hi, my name is Gail Garber, and I'm here to share a tip with you about drawing, particularly drawing curving flying geese, which I think are really pretty cool. So, here's my tool. It is a flexible curve, and I use this to audition my lines. And so I've got my quilt here. You'll see there's little flying geese right in there. And I'm gonna do a little row of flying geese for you right here. So I'm gonna use this to audition my line. And normally I would draw with a pencil, but I'm drawing with a Sharpie marker so the camera will pick it up. And I'm just going to draw a line. And then I'm gonna audition the other side of the line. So I want it to be narrow on one side and wide on the other side so it looks like a waterfall. And so now I'm gonna draw the other side. And see how that looks just like it came from far away and now it's close. And then I'm gonna actually draw flying geese. So if you think about flying geese, they are usually twice as wide as they are tall. So they look about like this. And you pick a point in the middle and that is the basic shape of a traditional flying goose. So it looks like it has, um, you know, it's twice as wide as it is tall. It looks like a rectangle, right? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start drawing in the middle. Ooh. Good. That looks like it's perpendicular, but that's really an optical illusion. It doesn't really look like that. And now I'm going to start making rectangles. I'm gonna move away from that shape. And as I go around the curve, it has to be wider on the outside than it is on the inside, or you will not get around the corner. And so we're just gonna fill in this side over here. And then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna switch hands. And as this gets wider, my space needs to get wider. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm wider on the outside of the curve than the inside of the curve. And I'm gonna to have to cheat and scoot this along since I don't have a long ruler with me. And we're gonna do it right here and we're gonna call it good. So now, all you need to do is put the middle in. So you have choices, you could put, you could measure every line and figure out where the middle is, or you could just do what I do, and I just eyeball it. I just take my pencil, and I just pick a spot, any spot all along the way, and I call that my middle. That was way faster than it would be if you actually measured them all. Besides that, measuring them all probably make you crazy, so you don't really want to do that. And so here we have a half of a goose coming along. I always do one side and then the other side. And I like to always plant my pencil at one corner and then slide the ruler up to it and pivot around the ruler. And that just makes it easy to position your ruler. We're going to do it all the way we have to make these imaginary ones at the end. And then I'm gonna turn my paper around so that I can easily draw both sides. I like to do that a lot of the time. And then I'm gonna draw the other side where I'm gonna plant the pencil. And look at those little geese appearing. And there they are, and we can just keep right on going. And there you have it, a little row of flying geese. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next AQS Quilt Week.